नमस्ते एवरी वन नाउ आई विल टीच टूडे हाउ टू डू भस्ती का प्राणायामा सो फॉर दैट सिट इन सिंपल क्रॉस लिंग और यू कैन टेक लोटस पोज लाइक दिस डिपेंड्स ऑन यू एंड यू कैन सिट इन सिंपल क्रॉस लिंग इज ओके नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर वेन यू डू दिस प्राणायामा यू मस्ट बी एन टिस्टम सो लेट्स डू इट सो हाउ टू डू दिस प्राणायामा फॉर दैट this three type of bhastika first step second step and third step in first step if you are beginner so you do the first step it's like slowly and smoothly going so this is the first one how to do for beginners like step 1 take a breath in now exhale slowly and smoothly in now exhale inhale eggs so this is step 1 who is beginner they can do this one and after that when you habituated with this practice step 1 then you jump in step 2 how to do step 2 little bit fast from step 1 so step 2 like this inhale eggs inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue. This is step two. After step one, if you get habituated with this one, you do step two. It is very good if you do regular, but If you can do step two, then we will jump in three. So how to do third step? In third step, you have to do faster. Like try to do continuously one minute. If you are very very good on this, and then you, you if you are regular practice practitioner in step three, then you can do two minute regular. Depends on you. So this is the third step. How to do this? breathing fast inhale and exhale like as much as you can take a breath and then totally exhale do it fast like this you can take a chin mudra for doing this bhastika pranayama so here is the step 3 take a breath inhale exhale inhale exhale continue like this So this is step three. So you do uh, what you you can do this as much as your capacity. You can do step one, step two, or step three. But don't force yourself for doing this. Just go smoothly. And so who cannot do this pranayama? Who have very high blood pressure? They cannot do. They can do just step one slowly and smoothly. Like inhale and exhale. like this so who have high blood pressure they can just do step 1 but who have low blood pressure it is very good for them and uh, when you do the bhastika pranayama if you are beginner just do the step 1 don't jump in step 2 and 3 just do the one when you get habituated then jump in two so, and what is the benefits of this asana it will increase the your digesting ability it is very good for your digestion if you have any digestion problem you must do it it will it will reduce your belly fat because of the inhalation exhalation our belly is our belly is also moving up and down and it's getting like hot so it is burning your fat too and it will detox your body too because of the deep inhalation and exhalation our our body is capable to gaining oxygen more and this oxygen is going in our blood so it is very good for detox your body it is very good for relaxing your mind and the slow bhastika pranayama is very very good 
like step one which i told you earlier if you do if you have high blood pressure you will do the step one bhaktika pranayama so it is very good in high blood pressure too so thank you so much namaste uh, next video what you want you can comment below this video and then i will post next time that video so once again thank you so much don't forget to subscribe